So I'm just going to take a moment to walk through the directions uh, that we have on this page for looking into the named entity recognizer. Now, as I walk through this, I'm going to use the uh, directions that are right there uh, on this page, uh, but I will be using a different example. So you've got the written example and then you've got a, a video uh, version of a, of a slightly different work set. Um, in terms of the work sets, uh, we uh, we are using work sets that we've created here uh, in the libraries uh, just to use as examples. But of course, uh, your research will most likely be a different topic. So if you need some help coming up with a work set, uh, please feel free to reach out to your librarian or um, Ohio University Libraries, and we will, uh, we will connect you with a person that would be able to help you create a work set. So I'm just going to follow this through. Okay, so first up on the directions, log in to the HTRC. Now these directions all have um, links in the directions, but I'm, I, I will be using um, my browser. Uh, so anyway, so here we are on the HTRC analytics homepage. On the upper right hand side, there's the blue button to sign in. I am uh, at the Ohio University, so I will continue. Now, as that's loading up, um, I'm going to go to the named entity recognizer under the algorithms at the top. So right next to HTRC analytics, I'll click on algorithms and then click on the named entity recognizer, three blue buttons down. I'll exec execute. And so I'm going to go ahead and scroll through here. Now you have to give it a job name. So I'm I'm going to use Walter Tevis as my example, and you'll understand why in just a second. So Walter Tevis example is the name of the job. Now I'm going to select a work set. Um, we've already done one here for Tevis. So if I searched for Tevis, the Walter Tevis uh, work set comes up. I'll go ahead and use that. And then the predominant language, English. And I will submit. Now I'm on my active jobs page and it's staging. So while this is happening, I'll just quickly show you and I, you can see that I've already actually done this once. Uh, so there is a Walter Tevis example right here, but it's working on this again um, underneath active jobs. Uh, it takes a little bit of time and it depends on how long, how big the work set is um, as to how long it takes. Um, there we go. So it took maybe a minute or a little less to create that. Now, once I'm on here, I can click on the named and here it is. So this is what it would look like. Here's an example of a piece of, of the work set and the data that it kicked out. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to download the CSV file and then I will open it just so that you can see how large this actually is. Um, so um, yeah, we have 37 rows displayed, but uh, you could go down quite a bit. So uh, you can see it's, it's actually ends up being a huge data set. Uh, 